In problem 19 of section 2.3, we return to the problem of a projectile be being launched at a certain velocity uh, from a certain starting point. And you recall we can model the height of the projectile by the function uh, h of t is equal to negative one half g t squared plus v naught t plus h naught, where h naught is the initial height, v naught is the initial velocity and um, g is gravitational constant, which is approximately 9.81 um, meters per second squared, or um, 32 feet per second squared. Uh, and now, of course, we're looking at um, average values of functions. So we're interested in the average height between time equals zero and time equals t1 for some value of t1. So the average value that we're interested in is going to be 1 over the length of the interval, which in this case, we're looking at the time interval from the moment the projectile is launched at time equals 0 and um, time equals t1. So we look at 1 over t1 minus 0, or just 1 over t1, times the definite integral from zero to t1 of h of t, which is minus one half g t squared plus v naught t plus h naught uh, dt. And now we can use uh, linearity and we get one over t1 times the integral from 0 to t1 of 1 half, negative 1 half gt squared plus uh, well, dt plus the integral from 0 to t1 of v naught t dt plus the integral from 0 to t1 of h naught uh, dt. Now, the first integral, well, well we can pull out the uh, one half g first. And now we want to, uh, just looking at the integral of t squared uh, from 0 to t1, so we first want to cube the upper hand, or the upper end point, so t1 cubed over 3, uh, minus the lower endpoint cubed over 3, which is just 0. And now the second integral, uh, we can pull out the v naught, and we're left with looking at the integral of t from 0 to t1. So this will be the upper endpoint squared over 2, uh, minus the lower endpoint squared over 2, which is just 0. And finally, plus um, the integral from 0 to t1 of h naught, which is uh, just h naught, times the upper endpoint uh, minus the lower endpoint, which the lower endpoint is 0, so this is just h naught times t1. So this will be, if we multiply through by 1 over t1, we get minus 1 half g uh, times t1 squared over 3, since uh, one of the t1s fa uh, cancels out, uh, plus v naught times, now here again, a t1 cancels, and we have t1 over 2. And finally, just uh, we just have an h h naught in the last term since uh, the t one again cancels out. So we see that if we uh, know the initial height and the initial velocity of a projectile, uh, we can say that it's average value or average height uh, between time equals zero when it's launched and some time t one is given by this formula.